Now, another interesting thing about threads is that you can actually detach them from the main thread. What does that mean, really? Well, there's a function that we can call for each thread. So once we created a thread, what we can say is pthread detach. And this guy just takes in the actual thread that we want to detach. I think, yeah, it needs just the value itself. And suppose in our routine, we just have here a simple slip of one and printf uh, finished execution. And right now we're only creating two threads. So if we do detach all of the threads, what's going to happen with our code? If we try to launch this, so it didn't actually crash, which is a good thing, but uh, it failed to actually join the thread with the message success, but uh, it did actually fail. And as a result, it actually did not print this message on the screen. If we try to launch this a couple more times, we might get the message on the screen, but uh, more often than not, we won't. So uh, why is that? What, what happened? So a detached thread is no longer joinable. We cannot call Peter to join on it. So that means that we cannot wait for it, for it to finish its execution before exiting the program. So that's, that's a bit of an issue. Um, another thing about detached threads is that they actually uh, clear their own resources. So before with Peter to join, you have to call Peter to join or on every joinable thread that you create so that you clear the resources that you're using. And in this case, with, uh, with a detached thread, you no longer have to do that. And in fact, if you do call Peter join, you're going to get an error as uh, we've specified here. But why are we not getting even the message on the screen? That is because the actual process as a whole finished its execution. So, right, the main thread, the main thread that created the threads here, detached them, it failed to join them, right? And all the threads were stuck at this slip of one, and then the uh, main thread called return zero. And that means that the process will terminate with exit code zero. So it's out and about and the threads are killed. So what you have to do instead of return zero is again, we can use our friend pthread exit and here we can do pthread exit of zero. And in this case, it's gonna actually wait for those threads that this process is uh, or that uh, are part of the same process as this main thread, but it's actually going to wait for that instead. So now if I launch this, you will notice that it's going to wait one second and it's going to then finish their execution. So no longer we will have to worry about the main thread stopping before all the other threads and then the other threads getting killed because uh, we returned out of the process. Therefore, you can use here p thread exit instead of return zero. Uh, namely, a detached thread is usually used when you have a long running process that you want to start inside the main thread, but you don't want to uh, let the main thread keep on running. There's, there's little to no point in actually waiting for the uh, threads to execute because that's just gonna take a really 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 long time or maybe it's gonna go forever So it just starts it and it forgets about it and therefore the main thread shouldn't really wait for it It can just ex uh, exit clear up some of the resources and then uh, Somebody else can come along and use those so in our case We don't need to join them because they are already detached So therefore we can just straight up exit and we can let those uh, threads finish their execution on their own. As you can see, the process doesn't finish its execution, the process itself, until all of the threads have finished their execution, all, the, all of the detached threads in this case. Now, before I go, I just want to show you another way you can set a thread on, to be detached because this is not really setting the thread to be detached, it's just, um, it's just creating the thread in a non-detached state and then it's setting it, it's changing it to be detached. So how can we create it as a detached thread without having to change it after we've created it? Uh, to do this, we're going to have to make use of, finally, the second parameter inside the pthread create, which is this guy, which is a pthread attr underscore t, which we have to actually create. So to create this second attribute, we have to create another variable called attr, pthread attr underscore t, that's the data type, and we're going to call it, let's say, uh, detached threads or just detached thread uh, that's going to be the name of it 
and we're gonna have to call pted attr init first on this detached thread and then we're gonna call pted attr set detach state and this guy is just going to be uh, past the detached thread so reference to it and then the detached state so the detach state is either joinable or detached so we can say here pthread create detached and the next step is to add it as the second parameter to pthread create so this guy this second parameter is something that we haven't used so far and here's where you can specify certain things about how the thread should be created here's where you specify exa exactly the detached state of that uh, thread so you can see here the address of our detached thread our pt p thread attrt object and lastly we should not forget that we also have to destroy these objects because they do have a destroy function so we have p thread uh, attr destroy and we're gonna have to pass in the detached thread so usually whenever you have a destroy function you should call it after you're done using um, that object Although in many cases, at least right now, those destroy functions don't do anything. So you don't have to worry too much about them. And if we try to run this, you will notice that it's exactly the same result as before. We're going to wait for the execution of the two threads. And of course, the joins do fail. So we're going to have to comment those out because they don't do anything anymore. And if we run this, of course... Uh, it's going to run as expected. Now really the reason for using the pthread attrt is usually because that there might be a case where the thread would finish its execution right uh, in between calling pthread create and pthread detach. So therefore the resources wouldn't be freed automatically because it finished execution uh, and wasn't joined and it wasn't in a detached state. And this way we're making sure that uh, the, the threads are always created with the detached state set. So we don't have any gap in between executing or starting the thread and setting it as detached. Although in some instances uh, this idea of detaching a thread could uh, help out, you might want to actually do that to some of the threads further down the line if they, uh, I don't know, do something or set some flag sure that's also possible but in uh, this case i think it's sensible to just create it with a detached uh, state set now in this pthread attr object you can actually set a lot more things than just the detached state so if you say pthread attr set you're going to see a lot of uh, parameters that you can set we're not going to go into detail about all these but uh, if you want uh, it'd be a good uh, idea to research a bit on them on what each of them does because you might be able to optimize certain uh, programs using these parameters and that's really all there is to detached threads uh thank you so much for watching i hope you got something out of it if you do have any questions leave them down in the comments below or on our discord server of course the source code is going to be found on our website link in the description below take care bye